Okay, uh, so l let's start to do. Let's try to do something similar to this, which is, I mean, not exactly like this, but we could, I mean, do it exactly like this if we want to, and uh, why not do that? But I mean, I just would like to focus now on just this part of how to draw things and put them colors and like these field things, and I'd like to give you something more than what this does. We can just do some kind of animation, a very small, very simple animation. I just like to uh, do that. Uh, so, I don't know if this was recorded, because the microphone was a little bit far. But let's tr uh, try again. So, our main objective is draw something like this, draw, I mean design something like this, and then if I click on a button, this ball should move. So we haven't seen how to draw something and filled with a color, uh, but this is what we're going to be seeing. I mean, draw uh, oval is something that we can use because there's no draw circle, but oval is more general, and then I can design it to be a circle if I just put this the specific size. So let's just uh, start with that. I'm going to create a new project. Let's call it uh, movable. And then let's create this new class movable frame. Let's call it like this. That will extend the G frame. Then let's insert our constructor. What I would like to do is to have uh, mainly two panels. So let's have that. I'm going to change the design a little bit. Uh, I just would like to have like this to be some kind of um, bottom south, uh, something like a border layout south. And I'm going to have a panel in there, and then I'll put all the buttons there, so I can have more space for for this uh, frame. So let's just have this uh, panel. First of all, let's just start with the basics. Let's give it a title. Movable, and then uh, set default close operation, which is exit and close, and then we have set layout. So I'm going to make it a new border layout. Yes. Yes, you could. Yeah, you could do that. But just you're going to be probably having the same size on both the different uh, cells. That's I don't want. Alone. I would like to have like a smaller uh, space for the buttons in the in, in the bottom of the screen. So that's why I would like to use this border layout. <coughs> Let's use the set location again for the convenience. And. Uh, put it these numbers that seems to be working fine for us um, what else yeah the size set the size to be I don't know well that's too much maybe 500 might be enough 800 might take a big but we could we could use 800 800 by 500 yeah. that will be a big big screen and uh, now what we need to do is to add the panels and the buttons and everything. So let's just do that. <coughs> so let's add the panel. I'm going to have one panel for the buttons. And then I'm going to have a lot of buttons. For the other panel, the other panel, I need to, I mean, imp I mean, uh, extend uh, a J panel. So I'm going to design my own to be able to draw whatever I want on it. And let's just now have the buttons. Yes, up, down. Let's just use this. It's much convenient. Yes, so we don't have to always name them. One in a line, up, down, left, and then right. Okay, let's have this uh, my own panel, my own. Let's call it drawing my panel. That's my panel. 
So it's going to be the drawing panel. So of course my panel doesn't exist, but I can just create a class, my panel, inside movable app, which is, this is the package, movable app, and movable, movable frame, which is the class itself. So it, you can have two options. You either create the class in the package movable app, which means it's going to create a, a, a class here. That's what we did last time, actually. But because this my panel is meant only to be used by this class, so it's, it makes more sense to have it as an inner class. And this is what I'd like to do. So I just need to click on the second option, which will create this my panel here. <coughs> I just need to make it extends the J panel. <coughs> and there's one thing that I'd like to, uh, I mean, override is the. So I'd like to override which method? Well, nothing that comes from J panel directly, but the one that comes from component, which is paint component. This paint component is the one responsible for drawing the component on the screen. So this is what I'd like to to override because I would like to change the way it works. What did I do? I just clicked on something that I did not want to. So <coughs> I just leave this call to the super class, the super paint component, because the I'd like to also draw the, the component the way it was. But I'd like to add some uh, new things. Is some the new thing that I'd like to draw on it is like a ball. Um, how to draw a ball? Well, basically, just need to use another we have draw line that's what we used to play with now let's the other draw that I have is draw there's 3d rectangle but that's not what I want you can draw a lot of things and this is draw oval this is what is closer to to a circle so the draw oval is more I mean uh, let's just put some kind of uh, put it somewhere and then uh, you can specify different wi uh, width and height, which is then, uh, it's an oval, but then if the size is the same, then dip this becomes a circle. So, but if the size is not the same, this is going to be an oval. Let's just, I'll just like to draw this and then I'll play with that. I'll change it later. So now let's initialize all those. So this panel buttons is the one that is going to be holding the, the new buttons. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it as a flow layout and uh, before that let's just add these uh, buttons button up new J button oh, I don't know what ha was happening okay now up and a lot of copy and paste so up, down, and this is going to be down, left, and right. I'd like to add them then uh, to these panels of the button, to the panel of the button, so panel buttons dot add and in which order well, it doesn't I don't know let's just make up down left and right okay and this is going to be this whole panel is going to be added to the frame of the south border. Now, before that, I just would like to add this uh, the panel drawing that is going to be drawing have, having the drawing but I need to initialize it because now I did not do that so equal new so this is my panel and maybe I, what I can do is just assign this color to it 
set background and color dot well it's yeah just to make it look the same way now I think we're ready if I don't specify anything in a border layout that means by default it's going to be the center but I personally prefer to mention it since it's not going to be a big deal yes You would like to have the buttons, you're talking about this, having the buttons uh, here, up there. I didn't want to bother doing something like this. I could have done that, but I just don't want to spend time doing it. I just like to focus on just the other one. But yeah, you could, you could do something that is more like this up, down, right and left. And now if I run, uh, nothing is going to happen, of course, because I always forget to create a new, what is called again, movable frame dot set visible to be true now here it is so this is my circle <coughs> now I just would like to first of all notice that this was in black and if I just put the maybe it was 800 let's just put it 400 something to 50 so this is going to be something like center and then Let's put a different values. So if I put different values for the width and height, now this is an oval. But if it's the same value, this is going to be a circle. So, so that's uh, the the thing. Now this is going to be somewhere 200. So I uh, yeah, just change this. I would like to move it a little bit up. Notice that when I put these these two these values. These are the values of the top left corner of that. If you imagine that there's some kind of a, s a square or, or a rectangle that engulfs this, uh, this uh, circle, this top left point is where it starts. So this is the, the, the coordinates that I've used. So 200, 250 is this. So if I'd like this to be like a little bit up, I just need to, sorry, to make it to shorten this, so I'm going to lift it up a little bit. Okay. Now that's where it goes, if I'd like to, anyways. So, uh, now I don't, want, I don't want to draw just the oval. I'd like to draw a ball, which is like a color inside of it. So, if I'd like to do that, it's not draw oval that I'd like to use, it's fill oval, there's another one. So there's draw rectangle and fill rectangle. You have so you can put a color in it. So that's how this works. And now this becomes a big ball. The color? If I'd like to change the color, well I need to change it before drawing. So I need to set the color to whatever I want. For example, now I set the color and then I draw. So when you say okay this graphics thing I'm going to draw something on with this color and then uh, you set the color first and then you draw this gives you this what if I'd like to give it a border I don't know just for fun uh, I'd just like to show you something but uh, it's going to take some time but anyways just to show you that well, I'd like to draw something like a border that is black okay so what I'm going to do actually I'm going to do two things this I'm going to draw before because by default the color is going to be black and then I draw again but this one is I'm going to draw not not feel I just don't want to feel it or maybe I could feel okay feel it will be so I'm going to feel something but then on top of it I just would like to make it a just a little bit smaller So it can be, so I can see the difference. Well, anyways, um, uh, cancel. I did something. Oh, the field is capital F. Yes, it should be lowercase. Yes, thank you. Now, it doesn't appear, but if you see here, something happens to be shown here. But let me, let me do it maybe in a 
more clear manner. Now I just subtracted things, but also the size should be actually a little bit smaller because now if I keep the same size, it's going to be just slided. So you know what? Let's just let's keep the same values here and just make this this a little bit smaller by 45. Now look what happened actually because I make it smaller here and they just uh, it doesn't clearly appear here. Let me just do the same thing again. I'm just going to reduce a little bit. Oh, you're right. Uh, act actually, what I do, I need to put it push it back there, so it should be actually more than so 205, something like that. Yes, so it can be. I'm pushing it down, and then I'm uh, now it's really. Actually, 155. I, I made a problem. Yeah, uh, I was. I uh, will get in there. So I mean, the border now is there, but I can just maybe make it a little bit smaller. And then I have something that looks like some kind of a border. Anyways, so. This seems like a uh, big border. If I'd like to play with that, I may, for example, I don't know. So I noticed that probably I just reduced by the double, see? So if I put like two from here and two, don't change then this becomes, if I don't change, now it's going to be. Uh, what do you mean? Same location, yeah. but, but if it's the same location, then it's going to be. If the, if the size is different, you're going to be seeing some kind of a crescent. Like, okay, let's, let's have a look. Same location, 150. That means they all start at the same place. So from the top left, they are going to be identical. We're not going. They are, they're going to be covered. But then on the bottom right, is going to be now the crescent. Yes. 150 again. And then, so, so if you reduce them, right, to what, 195? 190. 190? So what is going to happen? Uh, 140. So I'm, I'm moving up the red circle, which means that there's a black circle first, and then I'm, move, I'm moving up the, the red circle. This means the corner of the top left corner of the black circle is going to be visible because it's going to be covered on top of it of from the red circle. And I'm going to see only the bottom of the right. You see, this is what has happened. Because it drew this one, the black one, and then I moved up, and I'm cov co covering it with the, the red one. Well, anyways, this is just something. I don't want to spend more time. You can just play with this, as you can see. This is how you can just maybe draw some more complex uh, things. But for now, I just would like to make it red and just that's it because I just would like to make it move and then play with it actually I just would like to make it move in uh, some kind of a an animation okay uh, so what I'd like to do now is just now that it works let me put it maybe in the center so this value should be changeable so I just like to mm, I mean what what should change is the size of the ball going to change so if, if I set it to a specific size, it should stay the same. So what would change then is just this x and y. So I just need int x and y. And then whatever is used, I'm going to use it here. And maybe I could use actually the by default the constructor. If nothing was used, I'm just going to make uh, some kind of x is equal to what do we use? 200, 150, and y is 150. So by default, this is going to be 150, 150. So if nothing is changed, it's going to be this. So maybe let's me put it a little bit. If I'd like to move it around, I just need to maybe let's and increase this a little bit. 250 might be m a lot, but uh, no, it's enough. Maybe not enough. To no, I just like to move it to the center a little bit. 
and maybe make make it a little bit smaller it seems to be too big with this 150 maybe 100 is enough so it's kind of have more space where the ball can move okay so that's enough let's just now do something with with that ball now i'd like to make it move let's say to the to the right and what i'm going to do is if i'm if it's moving to the right oh sorry add action listener and what i'd like to do is new action listener so what i'm on what i'm going to do is just to make it move what is happening so i can get the help that i want okay now what should happen is that the x and y should be changed so if i'm moving to the right actually the y doesn't change just the x is going to be increased so we just need to be increasing the in the panel drawing dot x is increased by let's say 10 and then i just need to do another thing which is repaint so the panel should be drawn again because if I don't repaint the panel, the, the, the values will change, but it, the, they're not shown on the screen. So the, this repaint will ask this panel to draw itself again by drawing itself again, which means it's going to do this. And it's going to take into consideration the new X and Y. So let's try that. And then we have the right and the right is moving. But what if, if I click once, I just would like it to move a little bit and more than stop. Now I need to make this thing to be in loop. So I'd like to repeat this, for example, sometime. I'm going to make it in a loop <coughs> that repeats just five times, let's say. Now this is going to repeat five times. That means every time I click on this one, but it moves quite fast. So I don't see, I mean, this, uh, I need to make something to make it slow. What do you want it to say? Uh, can you do it in the, uh, from the button? Uh, when you press, as long as you're pressing, it will keep changing. Well, I can do that, but this is uh, not what I, w what I meant. I, wa I want to do something. You see, that I've moved this five times, or let's say ten times. Uh, so what would happen here is, is that if I click this, so th it was as if I clicked ten times quickly, but I'm not seeing anything, even though it's repainted. But it's so fast that I don't see the the uh, I mean the different intermediary states now what I'd like to do if if I click on this one I just would like it to to see it moving slowly so how to, to do that I need to slow down this I need to make something here in between that makes it slow well there's something that I can use to slow the computer to make it sleep for some time and this called thread sleep well this sleep is just you just give it it's a method that makes the computer sleep for some time so for how long well you can specify this in milliseconds now this is going to lead to some interesting things because it will tell me i cannot use this until i do some kind of surround it with a try catch because this can raise some kind of exception that's why it's asking me you can have to do some dealing with those exceptions so this try catch is going to if there's an exception to do something about it or there was another option that was there that make this uh, thrown the whole block with the try catch which means the whole thing and uh, what I'm going to do I'm just going to make it into a try catch but well, I could do something else to 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 make it. I mean, take more time. But this is going to just allow me to use this sleep. And if there's any problem, uh, it's not going to. Um, let me show you. For example, I can just display there was a problem. But I'm not going to see anything until there is a really a problem. But the point is, this is going to s stop the program in this instruction for one second this 1000 means one second 1000 milliseconds which is one second if i want half of a second that's 500 so it will just wait half of a second so now let's just try this and see how it works now 
because this is going to be repeating 10 times, which means it's going to take 10 seconds before this animation can finish. So let's have a run this. Click on the right. Uh, didn't work. Well, it's taking too much time. But it took 10 seconds, but then it stopped. But this is not what I expected. Sorry. This one? Yes, I. Why do you want I? I don't want to increment by 0, then by 1, then by 2, then by 3. No. I just would like to move this, but 10 times. Let me, I don't know. Let's, let's let me show you something. Let me show you. This is just to, what I'd like to do, let me show you this. You see, this is a loop inside of a loop. Okay? Well, I'm just going to do something that is going to repeat this amount of time uh, which is I don't know let's just display this a small dot why not and just without going back to the line so if I run this thing now if I click you see something something just went quickly but I'm not seeing it but it, this is still not doing what I what I meant anyways I don't know why there's something that I wanted to do but it I wanted to make it stop to to paint this so instead of me pressing so many times it just presses itself for some time but it, I'm not I don't know why I'm not able to do that but anyways that's uh, it's taking too much uh, of the expected time what I wanted to do is not this but because now this doesn't make any difference if I would like to move by 10 I can just move by 100 will move anyways so let me cancel backtrack now if I just would like it to move, I, I will find it inshallah and let you know. <coughs> now I was thinking by using just this sleep, because this is what I was thinking, that this is going to sleep for some time and then start again, but it seems like, I don't know why there's this, maybe I need to repaint again. Let me try a last time with this sleep thing. And then, but before that, what I'd just like to do is to draw and maybe repaint before and after. I don't know. Just no, it's not. So what I was expecting actually is to, this is to move a little bit, then it waits, then move a little bit, then it waits, move a little bit, then it waits, move a bit. So the re the result is that I'm going to see it moving slowly. <coughs> but didn't that didn't work? So I don't care now about this. I just do it to make it work simply, and next time we're going to play some graphical animations when I uh, prepare another example yeah I didn't I didn't get that what do you want to do I prefer if I write uh, the print out okay and something okay it will stop drawing and uh, no, actually it will just keep doing things as so we draw and then go back and display and then keep going it will not just stop what I wanted to make it stop is something like the sleep or maybe do some kind of process that takes some time to finish like it's like an if a big loop and but uh, this this it didn't work because it seems like it freezes until uh, something uh, is happening so there's this freezing thing that I would like to prevent but I'm not uh, maybe I'm missing something yes Because the eye is just going to repeat. The eye is just a counter. It repeats 10 times. So I'm not using the value of I. Now, your, your point is, let me just answer your question. Because wh if I do this now, now your, uh, your suggestion to, why don't we use I here, right? OK, fine. Now, the question is, what's inside of I? The first time. So the first time, it will not move. Then the second time, it will move by one pixel. The third time we move it by two, and then by three, and then by four, and then by which means it's not just it's not going to move faster. It's just going to move even slower because the first time it will not. Then it's just a small uh, pixel. Then two. Then three. Then while in if I just use ten every time, this is going to repeat ten times. So it's going to move ten, then ten, then another ten, ten times. So it will move further. Then, if you use an eye, if you use eye, it will work, but it's just going to move very slowly. I mean, very f not far. 
you got the point. So I don't need this i to be the value that I'm incrementing the x from. I would like to always increment by 10 because I'd like to see it fastly moving. So that's the only difference. OK, uh, so let's just forget about this animation thing. I was thinking maybe something nice might be a result of that, but didn't work as expected. So uh, now if I'd like to do something, you know what? Basically, I, just, I was thinking that this anonymous is not really helping. I'm, I'm going to just implement the action listener to be yeah in this, because I will be having this action listener it will be much easier for me just to have one uh, method that everybody is going to be looked into it and then i'm going to attach them and it will be easier to just to get if this uh, dot get action command so if the get action command is equals to so now we have the code for the right so if it equals to right then what to do is this Basically, I will always repaint, so let's just repaint all the time at the end. Now, what I need to do is just an else if. So if it's left, so it will be minus, and that's the advantage about about this. So if it's up, this time it's y, and it's going to be minus, and. If it's down, well, if it's not up, left, or right, I don't really, I don't really need to ask this because I know that I have only four buttons that are going to be using this. So, if I'm here, that means either it's because of the right button was clicked, or the left, or the up, or the down. So, if it was not right, not left, not up, it should be down. So the only thing just before I check your question is to copy this. Okay, just let me okay. Uh some some mistake in the code. Okay. So I just would like to Okay. <coughs> now I just attached this to all the buttons. And let's check. So if we go up we need to subtract. Yes, because the Y, the uh now the y axis is this is the positive y. So oh. y increases while I'm going down. So that's why if I go down I need to increase the y. If I go up I decrease the y. So because remember this the center is here, top left. And the positive y is going down. So if I run right, left, down, and up, so it's working as expected. Yeah. <coughs> Uh, what do you mean? No, because this x, what is it declared? If I use x just without, without the panel drawing, it will tell me x is not declared. What is x? It's inside of a class, of a inside of the class. This x is declared inside of the class that is inside of this class. So in order for me to be able to access it, I need to access an object from it. So that's why I created this panel drawing, which is uh, an instance from this my panel, and then I need to use it to access the x and y. Even though if they were private, I mean I would be able to access them because it's an inner class. <coughs> but the the thing is that I cannot just use x. If I want to do that, I need to declare x here and then find a way how to translate to transfer that value inside of the class. So I need to find a different way in, into the panel. If I would like to, I didn't get your question. If I make this public, from outside? No, no, because it's private. Even though this one is private. Even though it's not private. If it wasn't private, yes, I could be able to access it, uh, regardless of depending on how I, I did I specify the access modifier. If I, if it was packaged, then every class inside the package c could. 
if it was like uh, then protected and maybe also the also inheritance those coming from inheriting from this one could <coughs> so that's uh, that's the idea basically the only new thing that we've seen is fill oval and then the set color I could do a lot of different things for example what I could do actually I could also based from this X and Y I could just display uh, ball let's say how, how about that I just would like to draw something and draw a text so the draw string is how I can use to draw a text I just need to specify what's the text this is the text that I'd like to draw and where you would like to draw it of course you remember now the X and Y is going to be uh, let me run this the X and Y is going to be the top left <coughs> and you can see here this is the top left now if I move it it's going to move also the text with it so if I want it to be centered I need to do some calculation to see okay what's the center of this well I need to add the size is 100 so it means I need to add 50 to what to the X so I need to add this X plus 50 now this is going to do something different it's just going to move this little bit to the right but you see 50 means it's just past the middle and then it starts typing the text the rush, uh, drawing the text so if I would like it to be less so I need to just play with it to find the right position maybe for example if I use 40 and so it will be a little bit just less than and then it's going to be something like that maybe I can maybe move it a little bit 37 so it's be maybe dead in the center something like that almost in the center let's put it maybe 38 just a little bit and it's going to be maybe a lot let's say that this is centered now if I'd like to change the color of this ball the text you see now it keeps the same color because I mentioned the color red and then I draw things now I'd like this to be in a, a different color then I just set the color again now by setting the color it means starting from this line everything is going to be drawn in black so if I draw something it's going to be black so that's why this is now black it was black by default so if I'd like to do that I just draw it first before I change the color so before changing the color okay don't want to move let's move it this way then I don't need to do things so by default it's black so it's going to draw the ball first the text then change it to red and draw the oval and fill it sorry but it's the same no the result is going to be the same <coughs> yes yeah of course you can draw another one if you want to so it's going to be moving the same thing yeah like the same thing that we did like one inside of the other remember when we did uh, like this like this have this one now let me maybe put this to be 90 so it will be a little bit smaller and uh, plus 5 and plus 5 and this is going to be now a dark one but the problem is that this is a smaller then the one that I'm drawing on top of it so it's going to be hidden I'm not going to be seeing it because I'm drawing a smaller ball and then a, a bigger one on top of it so what I need to do maybe draw the bigger one first then the smaller one on top of it so I'm going to be able to see it so if I just move this and put it after this but of course this is red in red it's not going to be not going to be able to see anything but if I change the color to make it black for example now if I run this thing I'm going to be able to see two things or maybe I could do the opposite draw this big one to be in black and this one to be in red now I'm drawing this big one in black and then this smaller one in red so now this bigger one is in black if I move everything moves because everything is relative to this X and Y yes what do you mean repeat repaint just only 
Now, when we when you repaint, you repaint everything, the whole the whole component. So you, you cannot just com uh, paint just a small part of a component. No, you just repaint the whole component. Well, then you will have to put the code that just only the square moves. Then you have to put some kind of other variables only for the square. Then if you move only the square, this. But at the end of the day, you, you draw everything from scratch. So when you do, do this repaint, it's going to repaint everything. So if you'd like to another thing that you move and something not to move, then you have to draw them all, all the time. <coughs> so that's, uh, that's, that's it. A small introduction to how to work with graphics. So there's a lot of different things that we haven't seen. You can draw a lot of different things. Uh, as you can see, we can draw, uh, let's fill another 3D rectangle, then you have to specify the x, int x, y, and then the width and high, if it's raised or not. So I don't raise, it's only going to be seen it uh, in a different way. Let's just try that. But this time we need to put some kind of x that is far away from, from our, our, uh, so our, our circles. So the, the uh, we know that the circle is 100 plus x, so I need to move it a little bit. Let's just make something like plus 200. So the x is, that means it's going to be on to the right. And the y is going to be the same, doesn't matter. But for the width, how long, uh, let's make it like 50. And the height, so if the same weight and height, that means this is, a s I mean, uh, a square. But I just would like to make it uh, 75. And they say, is it an true or false? This is a... Let's make it true and see. I have never tried this fill 3D rectangle. But what I know now is just I pushed it, it's going to be on the same level, but then I pushed it 200 and see what is going to be the result. <coughs> and has this is the result. Okay, uh, let's just try not what is false. What would be the uh, 3D? So it seems like, okay. So it seems like it's like a button if you click on it at the top. Which, uh, it's just pressed and uh, not pressed. It seems like something like that. This, there's a kind of inner border there. Now, if I move, everything is going to move moving. because everything is depending on x and y. And then, if x changes, everything changes. And you can draw a lot of things. Uh, how can I move the uh, circle uh, in a different, uh, a different way? Well, okay, fine. Just uh, what you could do, for example, is I do the same thing with the copy paste. no. You can just do some kind of uh, either you have different variables for each one of them. That's one one solution to be able to move each one of them individually. Or Thank if you'd like to have one of them to go up, the other one go down. Well, maybe no, no. You cannot have two paint components. You have one paint components, so every co all the code has to be in one place. But then you have to find a way how to make them move separately. So for example, if you move right, one is going to be moving left. So maybe what I'm going to do is minus two times uh, something. So this is going to be, I don't know, moving into the row, the different, the, 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 the opposite direction. I don't know this, uh, I don't know how this is going to end up. And then the Y is going to be multiplied by minus 1.5. I don't know, I'm just, uh, but this is a problem because uh, it's int, so I need just to later on move this to be converted to int, so it's going to be. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just putting some values just to see that. Oh, so what happened? It's already gone because maybe it's the, these values are not really helping. Let's just try one other time so I can see. First of all, I'm just multiplying by two. Maybe by two, that's a bit too much because if it's 200, maybe it's going. I'm not going to be able to see it. Okay, uh, 0 0.5, let's just do that. So this is going to be half of this thing. Half of x and then let's make it int. Maybe probably this is something that is going to... See, it was already in the minus, that means it's there. So if I move right, you see? Now they're going to be moving in a different direction. I use the minus for that purpose because it's going to move in the different direction. Now, what happens if they move together? Are they going to be drawn on each other? Yes. Which one on top of the other? So the later, you see this one is was drawn later, so this is going to be on the on the top. 
as opposed to the other one? Because of this false here. Should make it true. Well, in the same way, you would like to have a color, just specify the color before you draw something. You'd like to draw it in a different color, you just specify the color. So this one, green or dark green. Dark gray, okay, dark gray. So this is something. And there are different, this, okay, this fill the uh, round rectangle. And then with the round rectangle, you can specify different things. Okay, hold on. So the round rectangle, it's uh, x reset plus 150, and then same y, and then in the, well, let's put 50 and uh, 100. And then this, the arc of the width and the height is just, uh, it controls like how, I just put the same, I don't know exactly what this is going to do. But uh, this is going to have some kind of round rectangle. So I just would like to show you what is the difference when I play with these numbers. Now if it's uh, 10, one is 10, the other one is 20. Uh, I don't know if you see this, but I mean, not really. Let me just make it more obvious. So uh, this, this seems to be, but it's not... Uh, yeah, the color is not also helping. Let's make it blue. Or light blue, there's no light. Light gray. There's only light gray available. And then make it bigger. So you can see it actually. Okay. Now the, the corner, you see the corner, check the corner, wha how what's going to happen to it. If I increase it, you see, so one of them is going to be increased and <coughs> the other one not. What if one of them is zero? No, both of them? Mm. So actually, uh, so it's just the way, the, the way they're, so if I increase the height, actually uh, I'm getting it. If I increase the height, it's going to be one of them more inclined than the other. If this becomes the same size, it's going to become a nice round rectangle. If I increase it, it's going to be some kind of oval rectangle. Let's make it 70. So you can have some kind of weird things, yes. Well, then, yes, you can do that, but then you have to do a lot more. If you, you would like to draw a new button, and then uh, you can design some kind of a button of your own, and the way you would like it to look at uh, how it works, then you have to implement everything. When you click on it, what should happen? Or if you don't click on it, what should happen? How it should look like? So these are all things that you have to uh, program yourself. Yes. But anyway, this is just an introduction to how to draw things on, on a screen. But it needs more time to practice all the things.